Hi, this is my dinner tonight. Crispy pork with vegetables and rice. You get a great view of the temple from up here. You can go up these stairs and there is a viewpoint to watch the sunset at the top. So when you get to the top of the first staircase, there's a little booth and you pay 20,000 kip and that allows you to go to the top of the hill. But it's been raining all day today. So I've decided to give it a miss today and do it next time. come out for dinner for Jessica's birthday because she's birthday girl. <laughs> <laughs> They've just bought us dry bamboo and a towel to wash our hands. All right, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Here comes stuffed lemongrass. Look at that. This one is sticky rice. This one is barbecue pork. And this one is duck lamb. So this is pen pot and you make wraps with the lettuce. You put a bit of everything in and the peanut sauce and the fish. Birthday party or picnic. Okay, that's good day for you. Yeah. So what you know what to do? You just take some of the leaf. Now we serve you the two kinds of it. We have the lettuce, the green one that we call B2D. Yeah? Okay. You just take some of the one leaf and then you just take everything in here, in boost noodle. If you like more spicy, take chili, put in. And then take some fish, you put in and use the small spoon to put some of the peanut sauce. And then come to the top and then you can wrap together. So now this is a bit of pickle pork joy, similar like a kimchi. Uh, cucumber, tomato, long bean, dill, banana flour. So banana flour, when you eat by itself, it's not much taste. Then you come to get mac together, get more flavor. Wow. That's the mint. Uh, Coriander, noodle, spring onion, peanuts, salted herb, chili. The fish we call is the tilapia. Wow. Inside the fish, we stuff them on glass and then we put inside the banana leaf and then we fill by the charcoal with the smoky flavor. Another girl has moved into the dormitory and she's just invited me to go to arms in the morning at 5.15 a.m. <laughs> so I am now going to roll over, close my eyes as I have to be up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. And it's a very damp morning here today, but we are up, we are awake and we're going to go and see arms. Jess and I, from <laughs> from my dorm <laughs> we've arrived and they put out lots of little chairs with little baskets for offerings i believe the monks will be coming out of the temple there and then slowly making their way down the road I'm so glad that I got up to see this. I really enjoyed doing that. So I've just now come to a coffee shop to get an iced caramel latte and a croissant for breakfast. The coffee was really, really good. I'm now gonna take a wander down to the morning market. It's only about seven o'clock. Might as well make the most of it. And then I think I'm gonna go back and have a bit of a nano nap. <laughs> This lady is selling fish and underneath there's a pussycat. <laughs>
just ordered the passion fruit soda. It's really nice, really refreshing. And for lunch, I've ordered a red curry with rice. It's really, really good. I've come down to the museum today. It's my last day before I move on tomorrow. Well, that's unfortunate. They've got the National Ballet on tomorrow and I'm leaving tomorrow morning and it's on at 6.30 tomorrow evening. That's very impressive, but it's behind a wire fence. Goodness me. This is the museum. Okay, so a slight disaster went all the way over to the museum just to be told you have to walk all the way back to the gate to put all your belongings in a locker and literally it's about to shut in a minute so I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do both. <laughs> they could have told you that when they bought when you bought the ticket. It just seems a little strange. Just finished in the museum. Some people were allowed to take bags and phones and others weren't so I don't exactly know what the rules were because as I was walking around, I noticed some people with little crossbody bags and others, they were going, no. So I don't know whether it's if you're a local, you're allowed to take a bag. If you're a foreigner, you're not. I don't know, but we put it in the locker anyway. Typical, my day to day, all over. I want to go up to the viewpoint and the exit is in completely the opposite direction. <laughs> Never mind. It's just taken me 10 minutes to find the exit. There's one sign and then they just leave you. Keep walking around and every exit is closed, locked. <laughs> it's like I can't get out. I'm gonna try again with the viewpoint. The weather's a lot better today. Here we go, up the stairs. Okay, 20 kip paid. Five kip for water to keep me going. <laughs> and off we go, up the hill. She's only gonna made it to the top. This view is amazing. The climb was well worth it. The views are stunning. And just over there in the distance, there is an airport. You can just see an aircraft taxiing along the runway. I'm so glad that I made it up. It was well worth it. Are you telling me that those twigs are the only things holding that rock up? Mm -hmm. The hostel looks so pretty at night. This is my last night at this hostel and tomorrow I get picked up and taken up north to Nong Kiao, I believe it's called. I'm probably completely trashing how you say it. Um, it's going to take three hours and it cost 135,000 kip.